So this is another reason why you don't buy a PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X from a scalper. You may be getting more than you bargained for, besides getting ripped off by the extremely high price. Let's get into it. Skip it up and that up. So I've talked about plenty of scalping stories. You go on eBay right now, you you can see consoles are being sold for $1,800, close to $2,000 for a PlayStation 5. They're even charging like 800 bucks for an Xbox Series S. Really? I, and I'm sure people are buying it too. What the... It, don't do not do not buy any of the consoles. Don't buy any of the graphics cards. Don't buy any of the new AMD CPUs, the, the Zen three or Ryzen 5000 chips. Don't buy any of it. <laughs> buying a Series S, which is a budget console, albeit for two ninety nine, a very good deal. But buying it for eight hundred dollars. No, it's no longer a good deal. It's a terrible deal. Don't, don't do it. What are you thinking? Well, anyway, besides being ripped off price wise, um, you may be buying a stolen console for a exorbitant price. This is what happened to this person where they bought a PlayStation 5 from a scalper and uh, it was bricked because it was reported stolen. Yep. Yep. And they're screwed now. So take a look at this first image. PlayStation network access for this PS5 has been permanently or temporarily suspended. Permanently and then they talked to someone over at Sony Customer Support. Take a look. They talked to Madeline because they're saying they can't sign into PSN. And Madeline goes, okay, do you still need to know the reason for your console ban? And the person goes, no, that's why I'm asking. Do you already know the reason? The person goes, no. Your console was banned because it was reported stolen. And the person's like, wait a second, this is a gift because I'm not understanding. Madeline goes, I'm sorry, there is nothing I could do about this ban. Do you have any further questions? And the person goes, so can I use the system? So what do I do from this point on? And Madeline goes, you will not be able to ever use the system. Please, I know this is a fairly short video, doesn't need to be long, but I just wanted to show this to prove. Do not buy consoles. Do not buy graphics cards. Do not buy CPUs. Do not buy sneakers. Do not buy anything from scalpers. Because not only are you getting ripped off, you don't even know if like you're buying a pair of counterfeit Jordans or whatever. I'm not into sneakers really, but you get my point. These are not ethical people. Okay, that's what people don't understand about scalpers, too. Look, capitalism, bro, if there's demand and there's a lack of supply, they can inflate the prices. But when people do this, when they're going out and using fake bot accounts to buy these consoles, to buy PS5s, to buy Series Xs, to buy Series Ss, their morality is already in question. So they may be the kind of person that may, I don't know, uh, see a PS5 fall off a truck uh, that may get reported stolen and they may sell it to you for an insane amount of muff money. Insane amount of muffin. I want an insane amount of muffins. They may try to sell it to you for an insane amount of money and the console may end up being stolen. And in 2020... Places like Sony and Microsoft or corporations like Sony and Microsoft, I should say, can track these things and you will have a brick console. It's just not worth it. It's just please be patient. Wait. I'm telling you six months from now, there'll be you'll walk outside and there'll be PlayStation 5s and Series X's growing on trees. Not really, but that would be interesting if it happened. But you get my point. You'll be able to get them anywhere. And these scumbags won't be able to do things like this. Do not buy consoles from scalpers. I don't care if I have to make a video every day for the next five months calling out scalpers. I want to show stories like this to prove it's just not worth it. Save your money and be patient. This is Richard Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one. Hey, if you enjoy my content, consider becoming a Review Tech USA member. I'll have a link below in the description. I live stream now on this channel all the time, and it gives you access to cool emoticons to use as well while I live stream. Again, link below in the description. Thank you for your continued support.